Hello, my name is Ben Josephson and I am presenting my project for EE304 on MATLAB. I've developed a program that can be used to determine the roots and the natural response of RLC series and parallel circuits. So the way my program starts out is by clearing the command window and all variables, uh, then initializes a vector t used to define time, and it prompts the user to enter a value for the resistor, the inductor, and the capacitor that will be used in the problem, and then asks the user to make a choice um, to determine whether or not the uh, resistor shall be arranged in series or parallel configuration. Um, uh, this if statement here is then used to uh, determine whether the series or parallel configuration is selected and it calls the corresponding function either series or parallel to go ahead and uh, evaluate alpha and omega determine if we are dealing with overdamped, underdamped, or critically damped case and then also calculate the characteristic roots for the equation. Um, the roots along with the condition are then uh, displayed back to the command window. And we do the same thing for the parallel case, uh, alpha, and then we compare that to omega, come up with a response, calculate the roots, and send it back to the command window. Which takes us back to our main program. Uh, once that information is stored in the variables, we now uh, are prompted to to define whether we have a known uh, capacitor voltage or inductor current. Um, and that's usually given in the problem. Uh, you have to calculate then a, a value for either DI or DV and the program will prompt you to enter that information. Um, and then based on your choice, um, the following variables are initiated or initialized. and the conditions that you've given the program allow it to select uh, from one or two switch case structures. Um, if you have a known value for capacitor voltage V, uh, it takes you to six different cases where you can have either series or parallel and then uh, depending on the overdamped, underdamped, critically damped response um, that was output uh, from your calculations of alpha and your comparison of alpha and omega, uh, it determines which case to use. And this is done for both capacitor voltage and for inductor current, uh, just because the inputs to each equation have to be a little bit different. Um, and the way I handled this was I had each case then call a separate function that utilized the correct input variables and if we take a look here at uh, function A, this is the case for an overdamped natural response of a series RLC circuit. Um, we use uh, reduced real echelon form of a matrix to calculate the roots uh, or well the coefficients of A1 and A2. Uh, those coefficients are then um, put back into the characteristic equation itself uh, and we plot the function uh, over the time variable t to the MATLAB plot window. And then we've got the uh, formatting stuff here to label the axis and provide a title. And this is performed for all the cases of the overdamped condition, for the underdamped condition, and the critically damped condition for uh, series or parallel configuration and based on whether or not we know inductor current or capacitor voltage. Alright, so that kind of sums up the idea behind the program and the information flow. So now we're going to go ahead and we'll run the program and we'll take a look at the um, output. So let's go ahead and I'll just reset this real quick. All right. 
And here we have it. It's asking us for a resistor value. Now, I chose to solve an example 8.2 out of the 9th edition Nelson and Rydell um, circuits textbook, uh, which most of us used for circuits 1 and 2. So in this problem, we have a resistance of 250 ohms. Uh, we have a value for the inductor of 50 millihenries and 0.2 microfarads for the capacitor. We'll start with the series case. And as you can see, we get that the uh, response is underdamped. We've got our uh, characteristic roots, and um, it's selected case 2 and is now asking us to determine whether or not we want to use a voltage or a current. Uh, in this particular problem for part A we have uh, given a capacitor voltage of 12 volts so we're going to select first voltage and then we're going to input our 12 volts and our calculated current here is negative 0.09 so it says you have RLC circuit under damped response. This is the equation you should use. And now we will take a look over here at our output. And as you can see, we have uh, under damped response plotted in the, in the window. All right, now we'll look at the parallel case for the same problem. Obviously, there's a, a number of different cases, but I'm not going to go through them all. Um, so, we need to go back to our program, and we'll run it again. All right. So, again, this time we have a 250 ohm resistor, 50 millihenry inductor, two microfarad capacitor. This time we're going to look at the parallel case. And the output says that we have a critically damped response. Um, the roots are given, and it says here to use case six. So, uh, in this part of the problem for part B, we have a known inductor current. 30 milliamps and for a voltage it says we've got negative 50. So this says that we have a critically damped response and we should use uh, the equation for voltage output and if we come over and we take a look at our plot window we see a plot for a critically damped natural response. So that concludes uh, the presentation of my project on determining the roots of series and uh, parallel RLC circuits uh, and their associated natural response using uh, the program MATLAB. Thank you.